Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what a string pool in csof.net. Say what the a string pool if multiple a string literal or a string object hold the same a string values. So if a string literal, so this is a string literal and here this is the a string object. So here it holds the same values. Here you can see take take both has take and here you can see zz so both holding same values then clr common language runtime will allocate a single memory allocation so if i run this code okay so here you can see st1 a string literal the value initialized with take and here st2 the same value or that initialize take and here I'm using or uh, equal operator so equal operator is used to check the equality and uh, here so here you can see common language uh, runtime will allocate single memory allocation so here you can see with the help of get hash code we can determine the st1 has code this values and st2 has code this values so if a uh, has code are same and uh, here I'm using equal operator so it's uh, returning true the same this the with uh, a string literal and here this is with uh, a string object so here you can see str1 and uh, new a string z and here is it so here I calculated str1 str2 get has code the same values and equality operator so str1 equal to str2 so both uh, has code are same so that here it's uh, returning to because uh, all those things are same now let's uh, understand by picture so here you can see a string literal st1 and here program that uh, initialize so and here st2 same of values so values are same so suppose uh, uh, this address is now triple one okay this is the address here so st1 so i'm going to change the color here so st1 that uh, refer this address and st2 refer same address so this is for program and uh, address and values are same and if you are using equal operator so it will return true now here uh, the same thing with the uh, string object so here st or one new uh, string so suppose so here the address is 112 so this is the assumption address now here a string str1 so it has also the same values now this refer this one and here st2 this refer this one ok because the values are same there so that uh, it uh, refer the same address so this is the now here using a string equal operator so address values are same then that return also true now suppose if user uh, here use a string st3 and uh, here that give the value program form so this is the program form now it uh, create a uh, different address suppose that create 113 ok this is the address and values if the value not same then that create a uh, different address so this the uh, concept of a string pool ok so if a uh, user change here give for uh, different uh, values then automatically address gonna change
so here you can see this will return the stamp or uh, false because so uh, it to try to check with the address but address is not match so here match not match if the address is not match then it will not compare with the string so that uh, this returning false so here it's returning false now here you can see st1 uh, has code is now this and uh, st2 has code this and uh, if the address is not same then that it, uh, that not uh, check so that it's uh, returning false so this is the very important concept uh, about a uh, string pool in csr.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you